400,000 square foot museum that every square foot you got to examine to see what goes in there. That's, it's, it's all in the details on this job. There's nothing we can't build. So that's what my boss knows. And that experience with the new IT technology that we have kind of just ties everything together and makes a project very successful. The biggest satisfaction is knowing that at the end when we can look back and, and just take a step back and look at it, we can say that our guys did this perfectly. Hi, I'm Wesley Douglas with Mangan Arrow Mid-Atlantic and welcome to the Museum of the Bible. Mangan Arrow was contracted with Clark Construction to perform drywall and acoustical services to help bring this 430,000 square foot space of the story of the Bible to life. So welcome to the Museum of the Bible. We look forward and hope you enjoy your experience. Washington, D.C., home to the Museum of the Bible, which opened in fall 2017 and is located just a few blocks from the nation's capital. For more than two years, Manganero Mid-Atlantic played an integral role in the museum's construction. 120 Manganero employees focused primarily on drywall and acoustical ceiling work, while interacting closely on a daily basis with the other trades to complete this amazing project. Let's meet some of the key players and go behind the scenes. The Museum of the Bible Theater is one of its most impressive and architecturally challenging spaces. Manganero came up with a totally original solution for what they called ribbon framing, basically waves that twist and turn up the walls and across the top of the theater, directly beneath the ceiling that has been specially isolated to control sound. The architect basically gave us a curve on the page and said, build this. What I had to do was look at the architect's drawing and we had our engineered prints on how to actually assemble them, but I had to figure out from the point of where the fabric panel is going to be out here and one point out here to calculate the locations of all of our metal studs. As long as I have a distance and an angle that I can run, I program the points in, then I set up this machine here, triangulate it with the control points that the general contractor gives us on the floor, set up the machine, it locates itself, and then follow the laser beam down. First of all, we spent about three weeks making up these templates out of drywall out on the floor out here. And uh, then we ran heavy gauge studs over top uh, to catch the down studs and then filled in with this light gauge metal. We gotta put a flat metal plate it hangs over 12 inches and then it gets a quarter inch drywall on the top and then a quarter inch drywall all the way through and then the fabric goes over top of that. Coordination has been the key. There's so much work that's got to go in place above the ceiling, high work that 
every, every step has to be sequenced out exactly right between all the other trades or someone's not gonna be able to put their work in. This job is so vast that the amount of information that comes out weekly is enormous. The most important thing to do is make sure the field has all the information necessary to build something correctly. So again, things like light and diffusers, um, there's always constant changes that we need to make sure that the field has their hands on so we can uh, be proactive for issues that might arise in any of those areas. My biggest challenge so far would be just because of its uniqueness. Uh, it's a really cool project. I enjoy that kind of stuff. The harder the job is, the better the job. You have to be knowledgeable of all the other trades as well. You have to pretty much know how their lights go in, how their duct work goes in, how their diffusers work, how the plumbing works. If you don't have that information, you're just going to be pushed to the side and lost. So we love the big ones. We like the we love the, the tough jobs. That's what that's what I'd like to do. Well, what I do mostly is is all the intricate work, most of the time. So it's a, it's a challenge, you know, you got angles, you radius, ellipse, uh, it's, it's fun, it's a, it's a thrill, it's different every day. The Museum of the Bible is extremely quiet inside, even though it's located beside a train track and the Washington Metro runs beneath it as well. To address these potential sound problems, Manganero was hired to install the innovative Boswa Fon system from Boswa Acoustic. This was the largest Boswa Fon project in the nation at the time, and the Manganero team was specially trained to apply hand-troweled acoustical plaster to reduce significant reverberations. They also installed custom-made acoustical panel ceilings to help absorb and block all extraneous sounds in the museum. Anytime you have a project of this magnitude that is both renovation as well as new construction, you're going to run into challenges, but with uh, you know, an outstanding partner like Manganero, we've been able to overcome those challenges. You know, you understand you've got hard surfaces here, you've got the windows and, and the metal. Well, you have to absorb the sound someplace. And, you know, think of uh, people walking through there with heels and you're going to hear the footfall. And, and so we, you know, we're, we're able to absorb those sounds to make it a healthier space, a more enjoyable space, more warm, comfortable space. We wanted to be a teammate of, 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 of Maganero, so, you know, we wanted to approach this as a team. A project like this is going to present a lot of challenges. They're very professional, very reasoned approach to things. There was an understanding of, all right, there's a problem, let's solve the problem. They're awesome. Manganero also installed sound isolators throughout the museum to help control noise levels. All the while, they were communicating regularly with other trades to ensure that any changes during the project wouldn't affect the isolated ceilings that had been engineered for optimal performance. By now, you've seen that the Museum of the Bible was an extremely complicated project that extended across a very large scale. And it allowed Manganero Mid-Atlantic the opportunity to do what it does best, successfully solve unique problems, and effectively interface daily with other trades. The result, in this case, a world-class building unlike any other.